Oh man, I'm getting old. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. Dirty V8 exhaust. Here we go. What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this POV review by Autotop NL. My name is Max and today we are here with, well, probably one of the coolest and craziest cars of this year. Uh, it is, as you can probably see, a Dodge Challenger SRT Hellcat and, well, we have already driven a Hellcat, you might think. Well, yes, Martijn did when I was on holiday and I was so mad at him for doing that while I was away. Uh, so I asked AEC if they had another one for us. And well, what do you know? They did. And not just any Hellcat. This is the Hellcat XR, which has been tuned by AEC Europe, the importer for Dodge and Jeep vehicles in the EU. And well, it is a freaking monster. So today I'm going to show you around it, show you all the cool stuff that AEC has done to it to make it even more insane than a regular Hellcat, uh, which is, well, a task of itself. Um, then we'll take it for a drive towards the Autobahn for an Autobahn blast. As you can see, it is quite wet. Uh, and this car has rear wheel drive with a lot of horsepower. So we'll see what we can do and what this car feels like. So yeah, that's what we're going to do today. But before we begin, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to receive updates when we upload a new video. To go with that, we are also going to offer you a discount in our store. So if you use the code Hellcat, you get a discount on all of our products. So go check out our store in the top right corner. Uh, but not before you watch this video because this is one crazy car. So whew, Here we go. Oh Man, I'm getting old. Oh, oh my knees Okay, so we've got a sublime green car today and it has some very cool Extras that make this an XR. So you've got the Hellcat and in the US you've got the Hellcat red eye and the demon now uh, the Red Eye has 808 horsepower. That is a lot more than the standard 727 of a Hellcat here in Europe. So Red Eye 808. Then you've got the Demon with 840, something like that. And over a thousand Newton meters. And then you have this, the XR, which has 888 horsepower and 999 Newton meters of torque. I really like those numbers as well. So XR, what does it stand for? Well. I don't know really, so I'm going to make something up. Um, I think it's it's something like exorcism resistant to stay in that whole demon theme. What do you think? Something like that. Okay, so we've got a demon inspired hood, as you can see, a carbon fiber hood with a big air intake and some matte black hood pins. We've got some more carbon fiber down there the splitter is all carbon fiber and it is very aggressive. Of course, we've got the air catch headlight. So air goes in there with a Hellcat logo in there as well, which is really cool. Um, moving on to the wheels. We've got the Black Devil rims. So <laughs> all these names, how do you come up with them? Uh, with some Pirelli P0 tires. Now this version has 305 section tires all around. So front 305, rear 305. 20 inch wheels with Brembo six piston brakes at the front um, and four piston at the rear. We've got a Hellcat badge right there. One of the coolest badges in the biz. A carbon fiber side skirt, very cool. Carbon fiber trunk lid, carbon fiber rear spoiler and a carbon fiber diffuser. So a lot of carbon on this car and well, that spoiler is just very cool, isn't it? I really, really love this car. I think it looks so aggressive. Of course, this is the white body, as you can see. That's quite a big difference. Yeah, man, this car looks so mean. Absolutely love it. Okay, so I'll show you guys the engine.
I guess. Yeah. Okay. There it is. So we've got the 6.2 liter supercharged Hemi V8. It's a 2.4 liter twin screw supercharger. And as I said, as standard, it delivers 727 horsepower. Um, but what have AEC done? Well, they have uprated the supercharger pulley for a high performance version. It also has smaller drive ratios. It has different intake valves and it has a bigger fuel pump and it delivers 888 horsepower and 999 newton meters of torque it is absolutely ridiculous i mean they've taken a car which is already pretty overpowered i would say and they have just given it more horsepower so you can rate guys in the top right corner what do you think of the looks of this car especially all the carbon fiber stuff aec has added to it of course It is a mean green machine. Wow, that's really tacky. <laughs> okay, so on the inside, uh, nothing changed. Am I correct in saying that? Yes. Uh, we still have these awesome SRT seats, which as Martijn told you, they have super soft leather, uh, which is really nice. Seating position is okay. And you just have that massive bonnet in front of you or hood the car does feel quite big and um well probably next to that power upgrade the, the most important thing that has been done to this car is that it has a kw competition suspension setup uh, which means that it has adaptive manually adaptive dampers all around uh, so you can manually adjust every corner uh, for ride height and stiffness uh, so that's pretty serious it also has an xr badge right there that's a difference um yeah it also has an aec exhaust valve controlled uh, which is insanely loud and they also of course changed the ecu so it has had a remap to cope with everything um, and it also has had a transmission software remap uh, to make it work with everything a lot better. So the supercharger actually revs to a much higher RPM than uh, the standard Hellcat. So that means that you get a little bit of a, a more high-pitched supercharger whine, even higher. And the red line has been moved. So uh, the red line is now 500 RPM further up. So I don't know where that is actually. We're going to see that. I'll start it up. And this is idle with the valves open. And that's valves closed. That's a big, big difference, which is always nice in an exhaust. Okay. Uh, so we've got the eight-speed torque flight gearbox, which is a ZF gearbox. We'll put that in drive and I'm going to drive it with the valves closed first. We'll hit this SRT button and we are in auto mode. That means that we have 888 horsepower. Transmission is in street mode. Pedal shifters on, traction control, street mode. Suspension in street, steering in street. We'll just start like that with the valves closed and we'll see what's what. So the first thing you're going to hear or the first thing you might see is that we have a check engine light. Uh, don't worry, nothing's wrong. This is a press car and I guess it has had a hard life until now, uh, but nothing's wrong with the car. It just does that sometimes. So not to worry. Now, the, the other first thing you might notice is that the supercharger, <laughs> the fuck. The other thing you might notice is that the supercharger wine is very loud. And especially when you have those valves closed of the exhaust. Oh, that's absolutely lovely. I love a good supercharger wine. So we can use the pedals, yes. Oh, 
that's amazing absolutely amazing um, so okay that's enough for like dipping our toe in the water we'll open the valves we'll go to custom mode which means that we've got a little bit of a more of an aggressive setup especially the gearbox the traction control I'm going to keep that in street right now because in sport mode it, it's it allows too much and with this weather and these tires it, it's just it's a challenge to say the least because okay well I'll show you guys I'll, I'll just show you guys so we'll put the traction control this is sport mode okay remember that sport mode first gear floor it okay so that's up to 100 kilometers an hour I don't know if you guys can see that in the mirror there's just an incredible cloud of smoke behind me all through fourth gear so that's why I'm going to keep the traction control in street mode because that is fun if you can control it and if you want it to happen but if you don't want it to happen uh, it's not that much fun hmm I just thought of something I there's this button on the key which says panic maybe that's when you are facing the wrong way on the highway in a cloud of smoke you have to press that button maybe that's it okay oh man this this sound that supercharger wine combined with that that insanely dirty V8 exhaust is is just the stuff of dreams and the stuff of legends really because I, I haven't driven the regular Hellcat but Martijn told me he has driven both now Martijn told me that that this feels so much more aggressive and he said well I don't want to make it seem like the Hellcat was mild because it isn't but this just feels so much more insane and well I can only confirm that this XR feels insane one nice thing about the Challenger Hellcat by the way is that we can actually I'm just waiting for that car to go ahead a little bit so we'll put the heated seats on and the heated steering wheel as well because it is very cold it's five degrees Celsius so it is very cold and I would like to have some heated hands to be able to catch that rear end a little bit quicker so what is it like to drive well that competition suspension from KW is quite firm it's quite hard but it does mean that even with a, a massive car like this that is a little bit wobbly uh, stock standard you do feel like you are in control of this ship because let's face it this is a barge and the, the good thing is that because you have all that extra power you have that competition suspension so I would I would definitely recommend anyone uh, looking at a Hellcat XR well they're making 50 of these so I guess the chances are pretty slim that one of you is looking at it but anyway go for a KW competition suspension with racing coilovers for this car because it is absolutely lovely and it also means that you have so much more control when it matters so as you can see it takes absolutely no throttle input at all to make that rear end go it's it's ridiculous so some of you might have already seen that we've got a draggy setup right there our GPS performance meter and I'm going to 
go to the autobahn right now and do my regular autobahn review but we will also demonstrate the functionalities of the draggy because i have just filled this car up with uh, 102 octane petrol so we'll see if we can get any faster results than martijn did earlier today but it is it is getting colder it's now four degrees so I don't know how much grip we will have, even at 100 kilometers an hour. So we'll get this one going as well. Well, we've got a big digital speedo, but okay, we'll see if we use it. So the regular Hellcat Martijn drove was limited at 300 kilometers an hour. Uh, this one is electronically limited to 320 kilometers an hour. are going absolutely crazy at high speeds. I don't know if you guys saw or heard that. But that was insane. Okay, so that was with a lot of wheel spin, a 7.25 second 100 to 200 run. Um, which is not bad, but also not good. And well, we can try manually shifting because that kick down is just fourth gear full throttle oh man oh this car is so freaking fast so loud so aggressive and just so scary sometimes and that combination is the best. I absolutely love it. It, it just, I've said this before, but it, it gets your juices flowing. You feel like in your heart, your petrol head heart, that this is the stuff that you want. It's like, like a, a syringe. You're getting, you're getting your fix. Okay, so I think fourth, yeah, I think fourth might work for the 100 to 200 run if we can get a nice gap. And I need, wow, that speedo is crazy accurate. Look at that, this is GPS verified 91, 91. That's insane. Okay, so I'm going to guess that car is going to the right and then no, 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 no. Here we go. this guy right here and I was correct he was not looking in his mirror <laughs> so that was I don't know 304 something like that okay we'll see if we can do another run third gear I didn't actually see the speed because I was looking ahead quite concentrated. Um, but that was... 
Oh, that was a 6.08. I'll get a screen recording going so I can show you some more data. Um, oh my God, what a car. Oh, listen to how dirty that is. Oh my god, what, what a car. Whew. Oh man, so I think something happened here and we are nearing the border anyway. So I can show you uh, the screen recording of my 6.08 run 100 to 200, which is really fast. So the Draghi allows you to check out some more GPS validated data. Uh, with the distance covered, of course your 100 to 200 run, the slope, so it will say that this run is verified because the slope is not more than minus 1%. Uh, you can see the acceleration in G's, you can see the height, the speed and some more times right there. Uh, so that's how it works. If you are interested in getting one of these, click in the top right corner. For now, In the Hellcat XR by AEC. It is a magnificent car and well you think that because a Hellcat is already so extreme that it, it, it can't really get any better because if you add more power then you know it's it's just all over the place but even though it's all over the place and even though this is a car for pretty childish humans pretty childish men uh, or women of course it just brings such a big smile to my face and and absolutely warms my heart so guys at AEC what an incredible job you've done uh, I absolutely love this car and I hope you guys liked it too you can subscribe by clicking the big button in the middle you can also check out this video or go check out this playlist hope to see you at the next one bye guys